Hello everyone, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. What we're looking at here today is one of three applications that has just been uh, updated or released new uh, with the release of the iPad, uh, the new iPad for 2012. Now we've already looked at iPhoto, we've already looked at iMovie. iPhoto is brand new for iOS. Uh, it's, a, it's sort of an application that shows you your photos and allows you to edit them and work with them. iMovie is the same thing but for movies. Then we have GarageBand. Now GarageBand is an application that allows you to play music. Now with with this new version of GarageBand you're able to uh, work with songs you've already got. Uh, I'm going to start up a new one here. Corner. New song. You can either start a new song or you can grab one from iTunes that you've already created or just a song to write over. And uh, from here you're able to uh, work with any number of different instruments. Now you've got the ability to do a sampler now, inside of a sample, you're able to do something like uh, record your voice and then have that sampled over and over again. So let's do this. Stop. And now we can go ahead and play it. Right there. We can play barks. So what we're doing here is we can use this sort of stuff from a library or you can work with your samples here. Now what you're hearing here is actually, let's stop this here for a second, is we just, just hear the sample. You can hear, you can barely hear it because it's uh, really uh, odd, uh, is you're playing song sounds that you've recorded like that. Now you get a whole uh, keyboard of them right away uh, just based on that one thing you recorded. Now this is just one of many different things you can do go to, uh, if I go back to my songs, I'll show you a song that I worked with before. I'll just play it. Now it's, it's no masterpiece, but each of the different things you're hearing here are things that I recorded. Now the drum beat is one thing. You can hear that starting up right here. That's a random drum beat. You're also hearing snaps. The guitar is set to four, and then back here, you're hearing the uh, cello. Now, what we're going to do is stop this and show you some of these other instruments. Now, first thing we look at this sampler. You can also record audio. That's not brand new, and it's pretty basic, so we'll skip over that. You've got guitar amp. That means you can plug your guitar in and work with it from here. Uh, work on lots of different sorts of, uh, you know, adjustments right along there. You have several different amps you can use. We'll go back to that small tweed. Pretty cool. You have all these different amps you can do, and it, it uh, makes them sound different for each one. You can continue on to go to your drums. Uh, drums is a basic thing. You can go, you know, play the drums like that. Let's turn it up a little bit here. Where are we? There we go. There we go. So I got all kinds of different kits. You can get a vintage live rock kit. You can get a drum machine. get uh, all sorts of different drums. You got a keyboard, which is a basic keyboard, a smart guitar, smart keyboard, smart bass, strings, and drums. Now what you're doing with these smart items is you're able to uh, turn your iPad into something that allows you to do things uh, that you'd, you'd not be able to do you know, without this particular machine. You wouldn't be able to do this with a regular drum set. And what I've done here is hit uh, the, die, the die right here. If you tap that, it gives you a random drum beat. So it's setting each of these little items in the sequence here. Now this is uh, up and down. It's for loud. Left and right. It's from simple to complex. Now if you move these, it'll change the beat. Set that back here. Pretty cool stuff. Now if I go back to instruments, take a look at the other things. Uh, Snart Strings is a brand new element for this uh, particular version of Rock Band. And what you got here is a set of notes and uh, each one of them plays a string instrument. Now I'm uh, connected to uh, basses, cellos, violas, second violas, and first violas. So I turn them all on and Now what I'm doing here is you can tap, 
tap, tap, tap, just for one note, or you can hold it down and keep going up and down for sustain. And each one of these different things is a different chord. Now if I turn everything off, except for the basses, you hear that it's not, no longer the whole orchestra. Turn them back on, you can hear that it's much more full. Now if I go over here, you can change it from cinematic to modern, pop, romantic. Let's switch to romantic. Sounds just a little bit different. Fun stuff. Now what I'm going to show you here before we continue on is that you get the same sort of ability on the iPhone version. Now I have it already synced up here. Um, it's got essentially the same setup here. You can't quite see everything at once, but all these options are still here. You tap here, you change your instruments, and you're able to change it from cinematic to modern, pop, and romantic again. Let's go back to mo modern. And there you go. Sounds just as awesome. Next thing we're going to look at is uh, right to instruments. We we'll go to smart bat, bass, keyboard, and guitar. Now I'll just go through these two quickly because they're relatively similar to what they were before. They're pretty much the same thing you got for the strings, except you're able to actually see the the different notes you can do, the different strings. So you can just in your G chord you can hit two strings, you can hit the whole thing. There we go. Uh, you can change from acoustic, clean, rock, and roots rock. Uh, go back to instruments here. You can get to smart keyboard. This, as you can see, there's a similar sort of look to all of these, and it's really uh, intuitive. Now, the only thing. This particular instrument allows you to have multiple touches at once. If you can see right behind my fingers there, uh, you're seeing several little taps at once. If you're going on the uh, if you're going on uh, strings, it's a little bit different. You're only able to have one at a time. Like that. Go back to instruments. We'll head to bass. Now this is also brand new where it's a similar interface but it's the bass. So pretty cool. Let's head to our picked. Let's do that one. Fun stuff. This is fun too. You can, you're able to do this with the other guitar as well. Make your own little notes there. Good stuff. Now, once again, each of these things is also available on the iPhone. Just a little bit different interface. And instruments, you get all your same smart devices there. Plus, you have your regular things like smart your uh, where is it here? Keyboard, you know, regular keyboard, drums, guitar amp, audio recorder, and sampler. So these are both out right now, and they're awesome. Go download them. I think it's five bucks. Worth it.